evening, Good evening, Ruben. Good evening, Ruben. So, Ruben, give a brief introduction about yourself. Sir, I am Ruben Sharma. I belong to Dehradun, Uttarakhand. I did my schooling from Rashtriya Indian Military College, which is a military school. Then I did my civil engineering and pharmacy from Bishpilani. Then I was working in Flipkart for three years. I am also a national level shooter. I participated in four national championships. And I am also a like, avid long distance runner. I have won medals at college level. All right. Very good. What motivated you to opt for civil services as a career path? Sir, it was my dream. Like even when I was in college, then I was getting a good job after my degree. So I took up a job in private sector for three years. I did my master's part. But after that, I realized that I have turned the milestone in my life. And I need to like move forward and look for something. And since since I wrote civil services was my dream, I thought that given my temperament and what I want in life, the job satisfaction, the kind of developmental impact I can have, civil services is uh, more suitable. Hmm. More suitable. Can you elaborate a little more on that? How is it more suitable for you as a person and your background and your profile? So I personally feel that I am like more calm and composed and I do well in an administrative job. And so moreover like working at grassroots level with the people where I can directly see the impact of my work is something like which again motivates me. And then again civil services has other benefits also like it offers diversity of work. You get to work in multiple departments. You can influence the life of people in many ways. So sir, given those things, I feel that I will uh, be better able to realize my potential once I come into the civil service. So, serving the people, better growth prospects, these are the things that motivated you? Yes, sir, you can say that. Yes. No such thing as... Gra- working at the grassroots level. So serving the people at the grassroots, that's what motivated you. Status, perks and privileges, they don't motivate you at all? Like at all? No, sir, I can't say they don't motivate me at all. They also have their role to play. But I won't say that they are the primary factor, like the main motivating factor. Because of, I think after a certain point of time, it's a job satisfaction. Like... From your day to day work, if you give your hundred percent in your job, how satisfied you feel uh, by the reward you get, and I think status, work, uh, and everything will form a small part. It won't be the primary reason. All right. Uh, why Haryana? You're from Dehradun. You're from Uttarakhand. Why did you choose Haryana? What's your Haryana connection? Do you have any sort of connection with Haryana? Yes, sir, some connection is definitely there. My father, he worked in Yamunanagar. He has been working there in Kunal Shansham factory for past almost 10 years. So, because of that, I got to visit Haryana and I also have some relatives there. But, sir, uh, like, the main reason for joining, choosing Haryana civil service is that I am like open to all the, I have appeared for other examinations also, be it UPSC or be it Uttar Pradesh Public Service Commission. So, sir, if I can get a civil administration job in any of the states, then I will consider myself a all right. You've mentioned that reading biographies and autobiographies is your hobby. Yes, sir. So, tell me about the latest autobiography that you have read. Latest one. So, so the last one I read was called Rafa. It is the autobiography of the tennis player Rafael Nadal. So, he is also a kind of role model for me. Like, I take a lot of inspiration from him. So, that was the last one which I read. Actually, I like, reread so did he have any uh, impact on your life, Rafa Nadal? Yes, sir, a lot. Definitely. Like, sir, I look up to him in a lot of things. Like, he always stays in the moment. He always keeps like, his mind on Uh, 
being carried himself throughout me as an athlete, as well as a person, is something which like I also aspire to do in my life. So you you draw inspiration from him, the way he conducts himself. All right. Uh, you've mentioned that you also meditate. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, so, what sir. sort of meditation practice do you follow? So, sir, I have actually taken initiation from the Ramakrishna Mission, Ramakrishna Ashram. So, back in 2018, I took an initiation from them. So, they have given me a mantra. So, basically, I have to, I usually chant that mantra. Hmm. Usually in cycles, like one hundred eight times, this is one cycle. So, you will like chant in the cycles, like two cycles in the morning, one in the evening, like that. But yes. Every day in the morning and the evening, I make sure that at least one cycle I do. So that is the main thing which I follow. Just chanting the mantra. Do you classify yourself or categorize yourself as a spiritual person? Yes, I can say so because I have also been following from a long time. Hmm. So you're so a spiritual person. Generally, it is said that to succeed in this life, you have to be materialistic. You shouldn't be oriented spiritually. Materialistic orientation would would be better for you and for the kind of job you are doing. And plus, you are in the civil services, so you will be able to serve the people well if you are materially oriented. Would you agree with that view? So I won't completely agree with that. And the best thing I'm spiritual for some main reason, the main motive of doing all these things. To have a calm mind, cool temperament, like to get better understanding of myself, right? And better management of my emotions. So I think that that will be definitely a plus point once I go into social services. Because I'm not a, like, I'm not saying that I want to leave this world or I don't want other material things in my life. I want them also, but in order to balance that, I also need a spiritual side where I have a calm mind, where I can think clearly and prioritize. So that's a greed doesn't overtake and a balance is maintained. So I think both are needed even for self service early. A person should be we should also look at the material benefit of others. But once he is considering his personal life, he should be satisfied with what he what he has and also should have a spiritual side. That's how it is. All right, thanks Ruben. Okay, Ruben. Uh, let's talk a bit about Haryana. So you are from Uttarakhand basically. So do Uttarakhand and Haryana share borders? No, sir, they don't. They do not share. Okay, okay. What are the bordering states of Haryana? So sir, Haryana is bordered by Himachal Pradesh in the northeast direction. Then Punjab towards the west, Rajasthan towards the southwest. Uttar Pradesh over South East and it is also surrounded by the unit like it surrounds the unit territory of Delhi on the three sides and then it has like Chandigarh which is capital is also like it touches it. So, so Chandigarh know. is not a part of Haryana? No, sir, I think it is capital. It's a unit territory also, for it's a unit territory for both Punjab and the Haryana, but it is a part of Haryana. Okay, 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 okay. There it is. Uh, what is the state GDP of Haryana? Uh, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. What is the most populous city in Haryana? Okay, okay. How many divisions are there? Six divisions. Six divisions. And districts? 22. 22 districts. Have you been to Haryana ever? Your father was working in Yamuna Nagar. So, have you been ever to? Yes, sir. I went to Yamuna Nagar. Then, I followed Rajasthan. Then, I went to Punjab. Then, I went to Panchkula. By writing my main examination. Okay. Have you ever been visiting uh, the rural area of Haryana? So, like my father's factory is also located in an area which is like which will be like rural area. So, it's like it's not like a urban. And, and like I have some relatives in villages. So, I visited there. 
but again not for a like a long time here like only for one day or something like that that's okay okay what is the image in your mind or your perception of rural haryana so i think uh, the people there are like hard working they like when i visit my uncle the kind of lifestyle i see they are very hard working people and they are the kind of diet they take is very rich i think many he is a certain thing which almost every person like has a very uh, you can say strong liking for because this was i was served when i came there and so there is a lot of greenery and this is the area which i visited so uh, they also live in agriculture like right? even though they are working at this like my uncle but he also has a small farm and he also practices agriculture there so sir and the kind of language also i think uh, It's very friendly, like the uh, way people like to speak. That the impression I have. Okay. Do you see any peculiar problem or challenge against before the rural Haryana? Sir, not from what I see, because I am related very less. But from what I have read, definitely there are certain challenges. Like even though the ratio of Haryana is growing, but they are also like one of the lowest in India. So that is one challenge, and the agriculture is also becoming stagnant. It is the uh, productivity level is not going up with time, and as a result, the unemployment rate in Haryana is increasing, and which is leading to awkward migration in Haryana. Like people are moving not maybe interstate as well, but interdistrict migration migration is definitely there where people are moving from rural to urban areas. So there are a couple other things to it. हरियाणा में रोजगार की समस्या को लेके अभी हाल ही में एक रिपोर्ट आई है जिसमें रोजगार का और खासकर बेरोजगारी का डेटा प्रोवाइड किया गया है इस रिपोर्ट के बारे में जानकारी है आपको ओके 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 सी यू हैव मेंशन द शूटिंग एंड लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस रनिंग डू यू ऑल्सो परस्यू इधर ऑफ दिस और बोथ ऑफ दिस Sometimes I go and play matches. I continue to play international and state level matches even now. I did participate in national championships because that is a different level of training. Okay. But even when I had my home, sir, I was more shooting range in a area. So sometimes I do that. I also running. I do other activities. Like almost some sort of physical activity I do every morning. Okay, fair so enough. Particular. Which particular event do you participate in shooting? The 10 meter is rapid fire shooting. No, sir. It is still 25 meter. Sorry, 10 meter. Fair enough. Fair enough. मैं ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि जो शूटिंग स्पोर्ट है इसमें हालांकि इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे भी खिलाड़ियों ने अच्छा परफॉर्म किया है इंक्लूडिंग द ओलंपिक मेडल ऑफ कोर्स लेकिन अभी भी ये मास स्पोर्ट्स क्यों नहीं बन पा रहा है ऐसा क्यों है कि एक प्रिविलेज क्लास तक ही सीमित है स्पोर्ट्स या इसको इलीट का स्पोर्ट कहा जाता है अभी भी मास तक आउटरीच क्यों नहीं है इसकी बहुत ज्यादा फाइनेंशियली करते हैं बहुत ज्यादा शायद नहीं आती है लोग बट 
इन्होंने फिर भी एक बार आप किस्त ले ले आपको थोड़ी सी रेकग्नेशन मिल जाए तो आप इसमें आगे बढ़ सकते हैं और काफी स्कूल सब ऐसे हैं जो शूटिंग में जब अपने स्कूल में लेके आ रहे हैं तो सर अभी देखा जाए इसलिए इंडिया का आप देखा जाए पूरे वर्ल्ड में जो टॉप वन टू शूटर्स है वो इंडिया के बैठे हुए हैं कल 26 जनवरी है और गणतंत्र दिवस है उसके महत्व से हम सभी वाकिफ हैं आज 25 जनवरी का क्या महत्व है भारत के लोकतंत्र या गणतंत्र के अंदर नेशनल वोटर्स डे यू आर टेकिंग गैस ओके कल एक मिडिल ईस्टर्न कंट्री से बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कंट्री से उनके राष्ट्राध्यक्ष भारत आए हैं कौन सी कंट्री है और उनके आने का पर्पस क्या है सर इजिप्ट से आए और पर्पस तो सर इकोनॉमिक डिप्लोमेटिक रिलेशन का है पर एग्जैक्ट डिटेल्स का मुझे अभी तक के बारे में नहीं पता कुछ 26 जनवरी से भी रिलेशन है उनका तो हो सकता है यही चीज है सो सर बट अभी वाले के बारे में पढ़ा नहीं है फेयर ना फेयर ना अह दैट विल बी ऑल uh we'll be seeing okay, i just want to ask one last question your optional is philosophy right yes, philosophy ko hindi mein kya kehte hain darshan shastra okay to paschimi darshan shastra aur purvi darshan shastra ke beech mein do samanyataye aur do bhinnataye aap mujhe bataye two similarities two dissimilarities कह सकते हैं कि पश्चिमी दर्शन ज्यादा सेक्युलर है और पूर्वी दर्शन कम सेक्युलर है ज्यादा रिलीजियस है कैन वी से दैट क्या कह सकते हैं हम ऐसा रिलीजन का अलग अलग रोल आया पर उसमें 
पी के वाइज देखा जाए तो आई थिंक दोनों ही इक्वली सेक्युलर रही है और हमारे लिए शास्त्र तो शायद ज्यादा एकता में विश्वास रखता है ऑल राइट थैंक यू सो मच रुबेन uh what i want you to do is that please stay online we'll be back with your feedback in a couple of minutes not more than that so stay online and we'll be back in a short while very short while all right how do you think how your interview went how do you think how you have performed uh sir i think there are some proper to do but like i think my knowledge of haryana can be a bit better i was not uh, prepared for certain questions like philosophy questions hmm like All right. So let me tell you uh, how we judge you or how we judge our uh, interview candidates. So we judge an interview candidate on six parameters. All right. Let me tell you about the parameters, and we'll discuss each and every parameter one by one. Where you can improve, what are your strengths? We'll do a proper SWOT analysis. So there are six parameters that we'll talk uh, that we judged you on. One is behavior and body language. That is non-verbal communication. There are a few things that you can change in that area. Uh, as far as those changes are concerned, they are pretty easy changes. You don't have to worry too much about them. Rest is fine. Then your personal profile. Let me tell you at the outset, your personal profile is excellent. You have a loaded list of hobbies and special skills, and those are genuine hobbies. So we have been interviewing more than hundred candidates so far, and yours is a list which has really impressed us, and I'm sure it will impress the board members as well. Then is academic knowledge, the third parameter: your knowledge of Haryana GK, your knowledge of general studies, your knowledge of your optional. These are the areas that we assess you on. Then is verbal communication. There are a few things that you can change in that. We'll talk about that. We'll get back to it. Then the fourth parameter, sorry, fifth parameter is intellectual and moral integrity. There were there were a few questions. I'll talk about it, uh, and we can change our answers accordingly. Okay. And last is balance of judgment. We assess your answers whether your answers are balanced or not, whether you have the skill of critical assimilation or not. We judge on these six parameters. So let's talk about non-verbal communication. That is behavior and body language. So as far as your behavior, your body language is concerned, it is good. It's not bad at all. The only th thing that I'm worried about, and we as a team are worried about, is that you're a bit stiff. You're too serious. You don't smile at all. You haven't smiled throughout your interview except once or twice, and you have a good smile. So uh, you should use that because it's controlling the smile. <laughs> so you have a good smile. So use it properly because you'll appear more pleasant, and you won't look stressed, and you'll be able to hide your nervousness because we all are nervous. You'll be able to hide that. You'll appear more calm. Are you going to wear a tie at the day uh, on that day? Yes, you are. And are you going to shave also? Yes, sir. Chalo, that's good. That's good. That's good. So that's the only thing that you need to work on as far as your non-verbal communication is concerned. You were a bit stiff, so you can appear more relaxed. Uh, smile a little. That will change everything. Smile a little. Appear more relaxed. Yes, uh, your posture is already straight, so posture should be straight because you need to look attentive also. But be. Little relaxed, all right, and that can be hacked through smile. Just smile a little here and there in between, all right. Then, as far as your personal profile is concerned, like I said before, it's excellent. It's brilliant. You are you have studied from RIMC, which is one of the prestigious military colleges. It is quite renowned. So you have studied from there. Then you have studied from Doon International School, and uh, your hobbies. Are brilliant. You are a national shooting champion. You're into sports, and you're well read. Also, that's what I could gather from your from our interview. And I'm sure the board members would also gather that that you're well read, well aware. You're uh, you're uh, you are good with your extracurriculars, and your extracurriculars are also diverse. So, as far as your personal profile is concerned, I would not like to change anything. Your introduction was also good. So you did mention uh, your personal profile was reflected in your introduction. That was good. It was short, crisp, nice. So your personal profile is something that you shouldn't change. Not even an iota in that. All right. 
as far as academic knowledge is concerned like you have uh, rightly pointed out haryana gk is something that you are weak in right so that is fixable that is not problematic at all it would just require one day of your time it will just require one day you can just scroll, uh, scroll through the uh, wikipedia page of haryana so just uh, take a look at the states that share a border with haryana share the border with haryana all right drainage system of haryana how many seasonal riv uh, rivers go through haryana or perennial rivers that uh, go through haryana then uh, uh, Haryana GK who how did Haryana what is the history of Haryana what what's the story behind the formation of Haryana when was it formed do you know about it when was Haryana formed you do yes you know the entire story yes yes so all these things you need to revise again if you already know if you don't know then go through that just make sure that you know how many divisions haryana has how many subdivisions haryana has all these things how many districts most popular district most popular city populous i'm talking about right so all these facts these trivia this trivial information you need to be aware of all right so uh, haryana gk wala part uh, you can easily tackle it's fixable as far as uh, current affairs are concerned and uh, certain general awareness is concerned we don't find any fault with that uh what is expected out of you is that you know you have a fair bit of knowledge about current affairs and general awareness they don't want a student who or an aspirant who knows everything i mean they would be happy to receive such a such an aspirant but then that's not possible so you have a fair grip on that so that is okay one thing uh, that we would like to change is verbal communication and that is that initially when the question was asked to you in hindi you replied in english that happened once right so make sure whenever the board member asks you a question in hindi reply in hindi you did do that throughout the interview but once or twice you just uh, you couldn't you weren't able to do that and it's difficult to transition also but then let me tell you that most of the board members over there won't uh, won't be comfortable in english they themselves won't be comfortable in english it's a mixed batch of board members right so some would talk to you in english well, that's good you are fluent in that language but some will talk to you in hindi and if you reply to them in hindi that would appear a uh, sorry english that would appear to be a bit condescending so whenever they ask you a question in hindi reply in hindi plain and simple right you are fluent in hindi as well we could gather that as far as intellectual and moral integrity is concerned well your hcs answer was good your haryana connection answer was okay but if they ask you this this particular this specific question that you are from uh, uttarakhand how can we trust you to understand the troubles of people from haryana because you are from uttarakhand you are an outsider how can we uh, trust you to to be a good administrator in haryana so in that situation uh just make sure just a second in that situation just make sure don't make it about you and haryana make it about uttarakhand and haryana you can say that sir uh there are many similarities between uttarakhand and haryana we share a common culture we share a common religion dominant religion there are various similarities between uh, uttarakhand and uh, haryana so i don't these are just administrative divisions i don't see much of a difference between uttarakhand and haryana certainly uttarakhand has certain peculiar challenges haryana has certain uh, some of its own peculiar challenges but i don't see much of a difference between uttarakhand and haryana just play on that all right so if they specifically ask you that you are an outsider how would you understand and they might be a bit rude also all right they uh, like some of our previous students who are uh, like in the services now they have reported to us that many a times they were very rude and like as you know how haryanvi can be in proper haryanvi they they just ke there was this student of ours she is eto now uh, they told her tu to corruption karegi tu to rehne de tu to aise karegi to tu tadak pe bhi they can get to that also don't get disheartened don't lose your composure and tu tadak ke sath sath if they ask you ke tu to bahar se hai tu kaise kar lega yahan pe so don't lose your composure and just say that sir uh, there are a lot of similarities in fact similarities outweigh the dissimilarities 
so i don't think uh, i don't think uh, i am i am an outsider in that regard all right and plus also say that google it out that there were uh, there are some officers who are from uttarakhand who are serving currently in haryana just google their names and there are various haryanvis who are serving in uttarakhand right so it, it has happened in the in history so there you are not doing something new okay, for the very first time haryana is receiving an administrator from uttarakhand so there is no problem with that so prepare that answer if they corner you in that direction all right that's about it intellectual and moral integrity full marks critical assimilation full marks you're an extremely strong candidate because you have you have experience in the private sector as well so you bring a different skill set to the civil services aspect so you'll be impressed with that so your profile is brilliant everything is brilliant just smile a bit more don't look stressed and this hindi english part that's about very strong candidate you have very strong all right aki sir would uh, tell you more uh, sir has beautifully summarized all the assessment and i am in total uh, in total concurrence with the sir sir's opinion uh, the thing is this that uh, you are very potential candidate very promising candidate so just smile a bit keep calm relax you just go by yourself the small correctable things you have to correct and rest is all easy nothing going to stop uh now uh, any particular thing you want to ask us the one thing is there like i mentioned meditation as taught by ramkrishna ashram so should i just write meditation or should i very specific meditation i want to meditation. meditation that's it right yeah, yeah. if they are interested in that they would ask you like i ask you right okay. which kind of meditation if they are interested but you write meditation don't open more avenues for them to uh, interrogate you on like if you write ram krishna ashram meditation or so they'll ask you questions about ram krishna paramhans and all that don't open more avenues for them just write meditation and that's it i'm sure you'll be able to answer uh, questions on ram krishna paramhans as well swami vivekanand as well since you have followed swami vivekanand and he's an inspirational figure for you nonetheless write meditation that's okay if they are interested in that avenue they'll definitely inquire about it and just yeah one more thing uh, as far as philosophy is concerned prepare an answer for uh, the comparison between western and uh, eastern philosophy prepare an answer on that that's the most cliched question that could be asked from philosophy and i'm sure they might ask you if they are interested in this word philosophy they might ask you this question that's the that's the most uh, anyone can do because it's a very basic question so if someone sees philosophy and it catches their eye so they would say okay what's the difference between western philosophy hindi mein bhi puch sakte hain and in english also compare western and eastern philosophy prepare a good answer for it all right you could have mentioned uh, like for example yes the metaphysics aspect was correct but you can say that uh, uh, the karma theory and you have mentioned i guess everything but you can prepare a bit more as far as philosophy is concerned that's about it yeah otherwise apart from all of this you're a brilliant candidate very good profile very excellent profile so you should be happy about it stay motivated but be confident but don't get over confident there's no room for complacency as we all know right anything you would like to ask there yeah, one more question which you asked like i am from uttarakhand so we are haryana so sir in that like can i say that डूइंग That's a perfect answer. Anything else, Ruben? No, 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 no. I don't have much knowledge about civil engineering background. Like, did I take the lead? Do you know? Uh, do you know? Uh, like, small, brief information. Not much, but like we say, upper, uh, upper, say. 
आई एम नॉट एबल टू फाइंड एन इंग्लिश फ्रेज फॉर दैट बट ऊपर ऊपर से पता है करंट अफेयर आर कंसर्न एंड वन मोर थिंग यू रिमाइंडेड मी वी आर गोइंग टू बी शेयरिंग विद यू अस्ट ऑफ इश्यूज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यूज दैट हैव हैपन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इवेंट्स दैट हैव हैपन इन द पास्ट वन ईयर like economical issues social issues polity related issues ir related issues so once we share that list with you just make sure that you read about those issues because those are important current burning issues so they might ask you a question on that but just uh, uh, just confine your current affairs preparation to those issues only not go beyond that all right so we'll be sharing a list just make sure that those issues each and every issue on that list is covered thoroughly just do that and your current affairs would be sorted just take some time out for haryana ji ke that would be sorted and apart from that smile a little and that's it nothing else is required all right ruben we are very hopeful by the way we are very hopeful hopeful that you will get through okay all the very best all the very best okay thank you sir thank you thank you